Hi guys, so just a short Christmas set for you today. Um, it's a design I've seen a lot on Pinterest and quite like the look of. So I thought I would get my table out and give it a go. So here you will see me using a pillar box red by Premier Gel. And I'm going to paint two nails with that. And then two nails with my favourite white by Bon Pretty. It is possible Premier Gel do not stock that colour anymore because I got these gels back when I first started nails that so we're talking maybe four or five years ago and they've just been kind of sat in a box but when I was looking for Christmas reds I came across them so dug them back out. Um, I did plan to have a lot more Christmas videos for you this month but it's been... A funny couple of weeks where life has just generally gotten in the way and not much has got done. When I mean, you feel like you're going like 500 miles an hour but don't seem to get anywhere. So I'm just going to do one coat of each of these colours on these nails. And then cure them and I'm going doing another layer over with a slightly similar but different colour. So over my favourite white, I have this one by Bon Pretty. And it's like a like a shell, like a pearl colour with um like a gold undertone. It is possible that it is completely fine by itself, but I'd never used it before. And I knew I wanted a white base. I just wanted something to add sparkle to it that wasn't going to add bulk like putting a glitter on it would. So I've put a layer of that over both. And then over the reds, I have another Premier Gel colour. I do believe this one's called Ruby. It actually ends up brightening the base red that I put on. It's, it ends up being lighter. But the glitter in this also reflects gold in the light. So they kind of matched up. And I just wanted to add a little... Add a little sparkle. So I just do one coat of each of those again and then I put those into cure. So these have cured and I am just going over three of them with one of my top coats. I'm going to do both reds because I'm going to do a sugar design on those. And I'm just going to do one of the white nails because I'm leaving one plain and that's the one I'm top coating. But the other one I am going to matte top coat that one. Um, because I want to put a design on it. And I do generally prefer to either matte top coat. Or realistically I could just have top coated it and then buffed it off. Because I end up buffing the matte top coat anyway. So the pencil works better on it. Okay, so this is just me matte top coating the nail with that matte top coat I got off Timu. And I'll put that into Cure. So we're cured and this is my matte one. And then I remembered I needed to buff it anyway because the last time I had done a matte top coat and then tried to draw over it with a pencil, it the, the pencil struggled to stick to it. So I found buffing it works. So technically you wouldn't you wouldn't need a matte top coat. You could just normal top coat and then buff it exactly the way I've just done. So I am just going to write the word joy out. I started with the O uh, and naturally I've gone right out of the camera. Because I wanted that in the middle and then it shows me where I want the rest of my words. But these are just... Just guidelines, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because I'm going to be painting over it in white anyway and underneath I'm going to be painting red so I can kind of brush away any lines. So I've got some of the pillar box red on a palette and I have gone right out of camera again, like the very rude person I am. 
And I am just painting underneath the word joy. Just around-ish the lines. I mean, as it is, you can actually still see the pencil through the red anyway. But I didn't think you'd be able to. And just for like a, a little guideline. And I'm so sorry, this is right out of camera. Um, and then I fill it in with the brush from the ball. And there we go, finally realised I was out of bloody camera. I feel like I just need, I don't know, a bigger recording area than my phone has because I always end up moving out of the bloody camera. Right, this is me just grabbing the bottle, deciding that I am not filling all of that nail in with a teeny tiny brush. And as long as it's about right, that's completely fine. And I just said sod it and I painted over the rest of the Y anyway. Now inside the O, uh, I do plan to fill that in, but I fill that in later after I have written the words out in white gel paint. Which is the reason I wanted the shimmer on. That has been cured, by the way. Although apparently I didn't stop to show that. But that's why I wanted the shimmer on the white background to begin with, so that when I write joy, it, it doesn't blend in as much. Although I should have probably gone for something way more sparkly because it kind of does still blend in more than a little bit. Now I'm using a gel paint for this to give me a slightly raised effect and because I find it easier to control when doing thin lines but it is still completely possible in gel polish if you do not have gel paints. You can cure bits as you go if it's quite runny or if you have acrylic powder you can always mix a bit of acrylic powder into your gel polish just to thicken it up a little. So after faffing around with my letters a bit, I'm going to put that into cure. While that's curing, I have grabbed one of the reds that I top coated and I'm just putting my Bomb Pretty White on my palette. And I'm going to use this to make a... Oh, I've seen them called a peppermint swell somewhere, peppermint swell pattern. And I know in America you have sweets that are like that. Don't really get them over here, but I have seen them on a lot of the baking shows. And they crush them up and add them to chocolate bark and stuff. So we'll go with peppermint swells. Since for the life of me, I can't remember the other name for them. Now I'm doing all the spokes in gel polish. And I'm not going to cure this because I'm going to be sprinkling glitter on. You do not have to do that if you don't want. You can leave them as they are. Or you could even acrylic them so they're matte. And I'm not using my normal acrylic shimmery mix this time. I am using a... It's labelled as a fine glitter but I still find it a little chunky. So 
a slightly chunky vine glitter just to add even more sparkles now your lines don't have to be this thin mine probably shouldn't have been this thin but this is the first time I've actually tried this design weirdly enough it comes around every Christmas yet for some reason I've never actually bothered before now I did keep telling myself I actually sat down at my desk last week to do to do a nutcracker I, I wanted to paint a nutcracker on a nail um, and break it down into a tutorial and then I don't know what happened there but then I got distracted again and that just did not happen at all I think I actually got as far as sitting down at the desk I didn't even get anything out I don't know if we all have days like that or it's just me I go sit at my nail desk with all these ideas bursting in my head and then I just sit there and nothing happens. I kind of jump from one idea to the next and by the time I know it, like 20 minutes has gone by and then I just get annoyed with myself and get up. I think, yep, I'll go back to it another day when I have more definite idea of what I'm doing. So I finished painting that some more off camera and now I am just sprinkling my not exactly fine glitter over the top. And I'm just going to coat that and then I will cure it. Because it's a white glitter, I just cure it for the normal time because it's, it's kind of semi-sheer. But if you decide to do this and you are using darker coloured gel paints, gel polishes or glitters, um, sometimes it's a good idea to double cure just to make sure the light penetrates properly so you're not left with wet gel underneath. And I did both of them, so that is what they look like. The left one looks better, that was my second go. That's what they look like cured and there is the joy and that is all filled in in the centre. But thank you all for watching. I hope you've watched to the end and I hope you give the design a go. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I have been a little lax with the videos this month but I will have some more coming up very shortly. Thanks for watching guys, bye.